Dylan Schumacher Citadel Defense, and it is the time of year again to do kind of a check-in on my lifts. Uh, you know, usually I like to try to check in kind of once every six-ish months, it was kind of my goal, but that hasn't happened, so here we are. So uh, I do the big lifts, right? So I do squats, and uh, here I am doing my three by fives of squats. I'm kind of a starting strength cultist, so that is basically where I'm basing all my lifts off on. Here, as always, if you got feedback uh, according to starting strength about how I'm doing incorrectly, more than happy to hear it because I always want to be getting better. Uh, but here, uh, like I said, this is my three sets of five, and I think I'm at 300 here for my squats. Uh, this was filmed over a couple of weeks because I missed filming a couple of my lifts here. Uh, but basically what I'm trying to do is uh, I will do squats and deadlifts one day, I'll do overhead press another day, and then I will do bench press another day. And in there, uh, for the rest of the week, you know, I will try to work in some kind of exhausting cardio. Usually I try to do Thursday or Friday as a good cardio day. And then I will also add in some pull-ups here and there to be working on. But my main course of, is that I'm focusing on is my big lifts. Uh, here's my deadlifts. I did notice that after I watched this, after I filmed it, I don't set my back all the way there. So see that? I start to come up a little bit before my back is perfectly straight. Um, there's a couple lifts where I hit it, but uh, by and large, I missed it. And I think this is me pulling 360 off the floor here, um, around there. You can do the math in your head if you look at the actual bar, but I think that's what this is. I do take my shoes off now to deadlift. I've actually had a lot more success and help with that, and I'm at the over-under grip. I've, I've had to drop the hook grip because I just can't hold on to the damn thing uh, unless I'm, unless I'm over-under gripping. Uh, this is my overhead press here. I think we're at uh, 160, I think is what I'm pushing up here. Uh, 155, something like that. Uh, for my overhead press, uh, I'm a big fan of overhead press. Um, you know, people will say that it, you got to be careful to cause you shoulder issues, but I got to say, overhead press has fixed most of my shoulder issues that I've ever had. So, big fan of that. Uh, I am wearing a lift belt here. It's just under my shirt. Um, I work out in my shop, and it isn't heated all the time. I just turn on the heat when I go out there. So initially, it's pretty cold, um, and uh, so I'm a little bit more bundled up as I start my lifts out. And then once I warm up, I'll take my hat off and stuff. But uh, here are my overhead presses, and like I said, this is really one of the big lifts I like to concentrate on because I just want to get big muscles and be strong. Now that the summer's here, I'll probably add in some uh, running and, you know, kind of more stuff like that. I do, like I said, try to balance out my cardio after, but just what I ended up getting on film here is just the big, the big lifts. Here's my bench press. Um, this, I think, is coming in at 255, I think is where this one's coming in at. Um, I just actually, today, I didn't film it, but I think I put up 260, which is the most I've ever done in my life. So a lot of these numbers that I'm coming in at uh, for my big lifts are, are the biggest ones I've done yet, which I'm really proud of, um, and I'm really happy with where it's at. You know, more and more, I'm just in the belief that you gotta do something. You gotta do something. It doesn't matter entirely, you know, what exercises you're doing, but you gotta be doing something. So, if you're not out there and you're not having some kind of consistent exercise program, you're cutting yourself short. Um, there's a litany of different things you can do. I'm a big fan of the big lifts with starting strength, but find something and do it. Because otherwise, you're just gonna be selling yourself short. You notice on my bench press here, I almost killed myself because I did bump the uh, J arms there coming up, especially in this last one, I hit it pretty hard, but uh, fortunately, I survived. Hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.